we want to model a ball impacting a plate using LS Prepost version 4. This is part 1 of the tutorial. So the first thing we do, we double click on LS Prepost. This window opens up. Uh, next, if we put the cursor at any of these uh, icons, you'll see what it does. So let's say we want to uh, create uh, element and meshes. So you click on this. Uh, then you click on the first item here, which is shape measure. These are predefined shapes. So let's say we want to create the plate first. So that's four node shell. You need to define the coordinates of the four corners. So let's do that. 100 min minus 100 minus 100 and a zero. And then 100 minus 100 and a zero. And then 100, 100 and a zero. And then the last point is minus 100, 100 and a zero. We tell it how many elements you want in the x direction, how many elements you want in the y direction, and you give a name for the part. So let's say plate, and you click on create. So now it's created the the plate. If we like it, we can accept, and we see the plate. If we now click on shift and the left mouse button, we can see that we can rotate this uh, plate. Now let's create the ball. The ball, you go to this entity, uh, select, for example, a sphere shell, uh, the radius, let's do 30, uh, the density of the element, let's do 10, and let's look at, let's define the center of this uh, sphere, so let's say 32, which is 2 millimeter above uh, uh, the plate, and then the direction 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, and direction 2, 0, 0, and 1. Uh, let's give it a name, uh, ball, and part two, and create, and accept. So now we have the, the ball right here. Uh, done. Now what we need to do, uh, we need to uh, create boundary condition and initial condition uh, for this ball. So if we look at this and we click on it, then it's going to do a top view, or we can select our other views. Uh, uh, let's zoom out. So that's shift and then the right mouse button. We'll shift, we'll shift this, um, or rather we'll uh, zoom out. Now let's uh, create boundary conditions. So if we put the cursor right here, we see it says model and part. So click on that. And then we can put the cursor here. It says create entity, the third one. So uh, let's create SPC boundary condition. So click on create. This opens up. Uh, if these are highlighted, it means constrained. So let's just do simply support, no rotational constraint. And let's do that by uh, picking nodes through an area. So now we can, once we clicked on area and node, then we can click and drag for the edges. So now all these nodes are selected for uh, output. Uh, for applying the boundary condition. So there it is. We apply boundary condition. Uh, let's now create initial velocity. So we come here, initial velocity. So let's say we, uh, we want uh, minus 10,000 within the units that I'm going to define. Uh, and then let's pick by parts. So pick by part and click on the ball and apply. So now the ball is given initial velocity and we can close this um, window. Now let's create section and material and then after that we assign them to the plate and the ball. So to do that, uh, we need to go to the keyword manager and all the keywords and let's say first we want to create a material. So we, we scroll down until we find the material. Let's create two material models. One is elastic material one, and then the other one is material 24, which is plastic piecewise linear plasticity. So let's start with the material one, elastic. Edit, new ID, put the density 7.85e minus 9, 210e to the power 3, and 0.3. And then accept, make sure you hit accept. These units correspond to millimeter, second, and metric ton. And then we hit done. 
Now uh, let's look at material 24, which is piecewise linear plasticity. Edit, new ID, put the density 7.85 e to the power minus 9, and then 210 e to the power 3, Poisson's ratio 0.3. Let's say yield stress to be 315. And then the tangential modulus, let's do 210 e to the power 1 and accept and done so now we have two material models now we need to assign the section well we haven't defined a section so let's go back we define a section so that would be keyword manager and then look for section there it is section it's a shell so scroll down shell and then edit a new id and let's say one millimeter if I hit enter, then all these nodes will have uh, a thickness of one millimeter. Accept and then done. And then done. Now we need to assign, okay? Um, we need to assign uh, section and material to the ball and the plate. So click on this icon, which is part data, and assign. There it is, assign. This opens up. Then the click on the plate. Let's say the plate we want it to be made of section one. So click on this. This opens up. Double click on one. So it puts one here. The material ID MID. Click. This opens up. There are two material models. Elastic is one, and then two was piecewise linear plasticity. So let's say the plate is made of plastic material. So double click on two, and it puts it right there. And hit apply. Make sure you hit apply. Uh, then. The ball, we want to assign section, same, double click. And then the material, let's say elastic, material one. So there it is, and then hit apply. Now we have um, the part uh, for the ball and the part for the plate that has material and a section. Now we need to uh, add contact. So uh, let's go to the keyword manager and find contact. There is contact, expand it. Let's do uh, surf automatic surface to surface. So there it is, automatic surface to surface, edit. Uh, uh, the minimum requirement to do contact is you need to select the part one and two, uh, basically to be slave and master. So for LSP post to know which one slave and which one is master, so we click on the type. Three is a part ID, so three and the type for the master also three part id so now for the id we put one for the slave and then two for the master for example and then accept and done so now we have the uh, contact uh, within the same keyword manager let's look at termination time and databases so that's start control termination start control scroll until you find start control there it is and uh, termination there it is edit let's do two millisecond simulation there it is accept and done now for uh, post processing we need to look at hourglass energy and also uh, the energy balance so we need to do star control energy so you scroll up within the control there is the energy and you edit one means do not calculate two means calculate so change these to two accept and done now we need databases so we look at start database and there it is first let's do the binary output which is this binary d3 plot d3 plot are the results file so let's edit and let's say we have um We have uh, 10 of them. So we had the termination time to be 0.002. We can put uh, the frequency for output to be uh, 10 times less. So there will be 10 D3 plot files. Accept and then done. ASCII for um, ASCII files, ASCII output for uh, energy balance and looking at contact forces. We need to look at star database ASCII option. So let's click on ASCII, edit. Uh, so, for example, if you scroll down, 
okay and we're gonna choose only we can choose more but for this problem we're gonna do gl stat which is global statistics you put frequency for output to be small number okay and then um the rc force file which is the resultant contact force between the plate and the ball so you put it also a uh, small number and accept and done and done so now we have everything to uh, run this uh, simulation so now we need to save the file you go to file save save keyword and simply whatever you want you put the name of the file model.k and then you save the file so now we have the model we are ready for part two which is running Alastine.